A couple of weeks ago, I tested the B-Link GTI 14 Ultra, a powerful mini PC with a full-size PCIe port underneath it. At the time, B-Link said that this was for a dock that they were working on, which would allow an external GPU to be used with the PC, but they hadn't launched it yet. So I tested the interface using my own 3D printed adapter that screwed onto the bottom of the PC, along with a PCIe riser and an external power supply. B-Link have now completed the docking station, so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video. It comes in a white branded sleeved box that's a lot bigger and heavier than I was expecting it to be. Inside the box you get some manuals, the EX docking station, 8-pin power connector cables, a power supply cable, brackets to hold the PC and GPU in place, and then a pack of screws and a PCB that looks like an M.2 adapter for a Wi-Fi module. The docking station measures 179mm wide, 65mm high and 225mm deep or long. This is a bit more than just a PCIe adapter or riser. B-Link have integrated a few other features which make it really versatile and easy to use. First up is the obvious main feature, the PCI Express by 8 port. This allows you to connect an external GPU to the PC. Along that are two 8-pin power supply ports for the GPU. These are fed from an internal 600 watt power supply. There's also a separate port to power an external fan if your GPU requires this. Next to that is a USB 2.0 port. I think this is a bit of a strange addition. It would have been a lot more useful if it were a USB 3.0 port or a USB Type-C port, but I guess you could use this for a keyboard or mouse dongle. Then there are two antenna ports that you can use if you add an internal Wi-Fi adapter. At the front is a power button and a power indicator LED alongside it. At the back we've just got the power supply input and some ventilation holes. The open design and relatively powerful integrated power supply mean that you can use a high-end GPU with this docking station. They claim that you can run an RTX 4090 in it. I don't have one to test the claim, but it seems like they've sized the power supply at 600 watts specifically to make sure that high-end cards like these can be used, since the 4090 requires around 450 watts. As shown earlier, the dock only has two 8-pin power ports available, and some cards like the 4090 require four, so you might need to use additional adapters to supply power to your card. Another thing to keep in mind is that the dock is designed for two card slots, so you'll probably need to remove the retaining bracket to use a three card slot like the 4090, but there looks like there's enough room for it. Internally, the EX docking station also has another PCI Express 4.0x1 expansion port, and this is in the form of an M.2 port. You can use this port to add an NVMe SSD, or use a small included adapter board to add a Wi-Fi module. So let's get a GPU plugged into it and try it out. I'm going to be using the same Radeon RX 6600 GPU that I used with my 3D printed adapter. First we need to install the mounting bracket on the back of the dock. The GPU plugs into the PCIe port and we just need to hook up a single power cable to it. Then we need to remove the cover on the PCIe slot on the bottom of the GTR 14 and then slide it over the PCIe adapter on the dock. A retaining plate then holds the PC in place. I tried running two benchmarks that I previously ran on the stock GTI 14. In Geekbench we get a GPU score of 78,310, which is unsurprisingly significantly higher than the 37,460 we got with the stock setup. Running Fermark we get a score of 7,033, which again is much higher than the 1,920 we got with the stock setup. To test gameplay I opened up Counter-Strike 2. I set all of the graphics settings to very high at 1080p. We get around 150 frames per second quite consistently. This is about two and a half times what we'd get with the integrated GPU, which is already quite powerful for a mini PC. In Doom Eternal, with all graphics settings on Ultra Nightmare and ray tracing turned off, again at 1080p we get over 200 frames per second. This is about three times faster than the integrated GPU, 
and the RX 6600 is a pretty low tier budget option. You also don't have to use the stocking station to add a GPU to your PC, you can use it with other PCIe cards as well. I actually used this to add a 10 gig Ethernet adapter when I recently did my testing on the Zima Q Pro and the Terramaster F8 SSD+. This is obviously quite an expensive way to add 10 gig Ethernet to your PC, but it does give you a lot of expansion options for other cards too. The EX docking station retails for $159 on their website at the time of making this video. So you are paying a premium on what is largely a 600 watt power supply and PCIe riser with a few added features, but I don't think this is prohibitively expensive. Being a first gen product, there are two minor drawbacks that I'd like to mention. When you use the docking station with the GTR 14 Ultra, you still need to use a power cable for the PC as well, so you've got two power cables to plug in and two power buttons to press to boot them up. It would have been nice to have these a bit more integrated in some way. I also would like to have seen an easier way to add and remove the PC from the dock. Something like a toolless lever or snap-in lock to hold the PC in place like a laptop dock would have made it much easier to remove the PC which is kind of the point of a dock. Other than those two drawbacks, this is quite an innovative product. Many PCs have always been held back by their GPU performance, and with this dock you can add a high-end GPU to an already powerful mini PC to create a good gaming setup. It'll also offer the flexibility to be very portable when you need it to be. Let me know what you think of the EX docking station in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech in electronics, projects, tutorials and reviews.